the idea of portals is something that it just appears for a moment in time, in a space, and you encounter it, and then it's gone, but it's that window to another world, and there might be something that we can't understand or really grasp, but that we're drawn to. So we've got the cyclical emergent video forms projected on a circle, presented in a circular space with surround sounds. So it's like circles within circles within circles. This environment is wonderful, yeah. I've never actually been to the Picton Reading Room before, so when I came in uh, last night to set up, the first thing that struck me was the, the acoustics of the place. Um, so I was just clicking my fingers, walking around and hearing all these echoes coming back, and then I couldn't wait to hear what our soundscape was gonna sound like in this, yeah. It's a really exciting, interesting space. I was really excited about doing something in this space, because I mean, it's, it's visually beautiful, but also, the sound in here is phenomenal. The acoustic in this room is amazing. The sounds that you can hear now, these beautiful chimes are being generated through the interaction. They're all Tom's sounds that he's, he's uh, developed and he thinks a lot about texture and about spatial interaction. We're doing it in two halves. We've got, um, there's a live performance which Raz is going to do. Uh, about 9.30 and then when it's not the live performance there's an installation state and at that point it's my sound on then. Sound plays such a massive part in shaping pieces, people's experience of, um, of a piece because firstly it sets the mood, it can create a sort of atmosphere of either tension or a relaxing space and then as you're triggering sounds there's a sense that okay this is this is either me triggering that or it's engaging with me it's acknowledging me if anyone puts themselves in in between the camera and the projected image they essentially enter the portal and they affect it and they become entangled with it. So you can see people, people creating crazy patterns. We've got a really interesting system here, so I think it's ripe for, ripe for developing and making even more, even more amazing. We know a little bit of what to expect every time. We still get surprised when, when certain unexpected interactions happen. Uh, but seeing children and, and grown, grown, grown adults get into it and create new shapes with it and kind of make it their own has been really, really exciting. For me, this space is something that I really love, that I'd really be dying to do something in. And so Light Night is that platform to do it. I believe that this is a beautiful thing and people will engage with it and people seem to enjoy spending a lot of time playing with it. Um, it's weird, it's meditative. This is part of a tour or, um, funded by the Arts Council where we're taking the portals in uh, library spaces. So we're, we're taking it to Cheshire, uh, St Helens, and then we're going to run some workshops around interactive video. But it's this idea of these things just appearing in very unusual spaces and then disappearing. So when you when you're working on it in a studio and, and it all works, it's it's kind of it's kind of satisfying. But then actually taking it out into the wild uh, and seeing people who haven't come across it before interacting with it and it being a success is, is a really big thrill.